Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Hero Cosmetics Super Beam Sunscreen SPF 30. This product retails for $20. I love the brand Hero Cosmetics. I've worked with them previously on some different reviews. I did purchase this product myself though. This sunscreen looks very promising because I did actually try out their old sunscreen. It's one of the few reviews that I filmed and had done but haven't posted because I actually don't know why. I think it was because I had other products coming out and I try to prioritize those products versus the products that were just older and I was kind of having as backup. I really enjoyed that sunscreen, but I just didn't like the matte finish of it. This product looks very promising because it is more of a dewy and hydrated tinted sunscreen. And when I am working with mineral filters, I do prefer that because sometimes they can leave a really heavy white cast. And so when they add this tint to it, it really gives the opportunity for more skin tones to use it. And I'm really glad that they did do this. This product is the vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. As I said before, this is a 100% mineral sunscreen, and the sunscreen filter that they use in this is my favorite mineral-based filter, which is zinc oxide. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. So with sunscreen reviews, I always look for a few specific things. One, I want to see if it causes any acne or if it clogs my pores. It's always the big thing that I look for with sunscreen reviews because a lot of times sunscreens can clog your pores, especially if if they are tinted. So that will just be a big thing I'm looking for. Another thing I'll be looking for is what type of finish does it leave on the skin? And I really want to compare it to how the original sunscreen performed whenever I used it. Like I said, that was a more matte and green finish sunscreen. It was a great product, but it just wasn't my preference for a sunscreen finish. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-in. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I actually just started using this product today and I'm reapplying it at the moment. This product is super lightweight and similar to their original sunscreen, it really doesn't feel like a mineral sunscreen. It is only an SPF 30, so I was expecting this product to be fairly lightweight, but what I love about this product is one, it's tinted and so I feel like more skin tones can use it. They always do great with their marketing to be very inclusive and I love that they have shown this product on multiple skin tones. This product is also more of my speed compared to their last sunscreen. The last one was more of a matte finish and this one is a dewy, more hydrating sunscreen, but yet it is very light and it's not greasy or suffocating whatsoever. I feel like the previous launch was really designed for oily skin and people who do have either an oilier T-zone or just are oily all over. This product I feel like is more designed for all skin types and so I'm very glad that they have launched this product. The packaging is very identical to their last launch of a sunscreen. So it comes out of the side here. I've always really enjoyed this pump. And this product matches the color of this pretty perfectly. It is an orange sunscreen to start. And even when you start rubbing it in, I was just a little bit worried about it because it is still leaving a fairly heavy tint, but it does sheer out very nicely. This product, I do notice that it is still a little bit on my skin. Like I can definitely see that my skin looks a little bit more tan, which I don't mind, especially in the summer, it will be fine because I do tan just a little bit. It looks so good in natural lighting. And it just gives my skin a little bit of a perfected look, which I really enjoy. Now, as you can see, I do look a little bit more tan which that happens sometimes with more tinted sunscreens. I have struggled with tinted sunscreens kind of being runny and like say I start sweating, it would start running. That will be something I'll be looking for with this product. What I love about this product is that it doesn't feel like a mineral sunscreen. When a mineral sunscreen is an SPF 30, a lot of times when you start reapplying it, it can feel really greasy. This product right now off initial reapplication does not feel greasy. It doesn't feel like I have a couple of layers of 
sunscreen on my face, which I really love because I don't like a really greasy sunscreen. I just like a hydrating sunscreen and that's what this seems to be. I'm really enjoying this product so far. It's creating a beautiful glow to the skin and it's just making my skin look perfected. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. This sunscreen was amazing. I love the dewy finish of this product, but I do worry that if you have paler skin, it would be a little bit dark for you. I noticed that in some lighting, I did look just a little bit orange, but it was something that did blend pretty easily. It's just if you are really pale, I feel like you may not be able to get away with this product. It is more designed, I feel like, for medium skin tones, but I was able to get away with it and it wasn't anything too noticeable. It didn't cause any acne and this product was also very hydrating, especially compared to their other sunscreen, which was more matte. I feel like if you do like a more dewy finish sunscreen, you would enjoy this product over the other sunscreen. They both exist for a different reason and I like the glowy finish that this product left. I feel like it delivered a great sun protection to the skin. The value is great as always with Hero Cosmetics and I would 100% recommend trying it. The only reason I wouldn't is if you are very pale and you do struggle with some tinted sunscreens leaving you just a little bit darker than you wish you were. I am glad this has a tint to it because it kind of targets a range of people who I feel like are not usually included in some sunscreen developments when they are all white and mineral. Adding that tint does help this product. I just would be careful with it. It didn't streak off my face though when I would sweat and that was a big thing I was looking for with this product. So that is good. Just don't over apply this product and you should be good. Other than that though, I would 100% recommend trying out this product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. And I will see you all in the next review.